Wake up, guys! <laughs> Show's missing! Huh? I can't find him anywhere! You're kidding me. <sighs> What's going on? Show's gone. I'm sorry. He must have snuck out the window when I dozed off for a second. What? Grandfather, look! Akito left us this letter. I'm going to Mount Minakami with Fukumachi. You needn't worry. Well, I'm worried. What were they thinking? They'll be killed! I bet that team of Zoonoids is waiting to ambush them. God damn it, Sho. Couldn't you have at least waited until your injuries healed? Well, the good news is he has Makishima to help him out. If nothing else, at least he knows his way around Relic's Point. <laughs> But those Zoonoids are... All we can do now is have faith and wait for them to come back. Sho, I know you just want to save your dad, but you'll get yourself killed. Is there something wrong? We're not supposed to switch shifts for another hour or so. Dad, it's me. I'm here to save you one last time. Show! I'm so glad you're all right. But you've got to be more careful. We'll be just fine. Makishima knows Relic's point like the back of his hand. Uh. Come on, let's go. R right. We'd better hurry. <laughs> Fukumachi. Stand back, we'll protect you. You all right, Dad? Yeah. What about you, though? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. As long as it's nothing serious, the Giver can regenerate itself pretty fast. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh. Dad, hang in there! <laughs> Sorry, son. Our escape shouldn't have been so easy. I'm sure they anticipated we'd try to rescue the hostage, but if so... Then why was the security around his cell so lax? And why didn't they move him to a less accessible cell in a lower level? This was too easy. Looks like things are going just as we planned. Shouldn't you go ahead and dispatch the five elites? Don't worry. They're already in position. <laughs> Watch and learn. They're nothing but insolent children in monster suits. We've let them run wild long enough. It's time to put an end to this. They're here. So, you finally came. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Where are the other two vermin? <laughs> well, 
Let's just say it was a bad idea for you to run off and leave your friends behind. You bastard! Listen, Fukumachi, I'll stay and take care of these three. You take your father and go help the others before it's too late, all right? All right, good luck. Even on my own, I'm more than enough to deal with you. What a shame. It looks like you still don't get it. You're no match for us! We'll see about that! Is something wrong? Hey, Murakami! Two Zoonoids. Wait. This is bad. It's them. Hurry, get the others. Bring them here now. Mizuki, Tetsuro, Murakami, please be all right, you guys. Did I get him? Not bad, Giver. Looks like you're in top form today. Oh, he recovered even after a direct hit from my pressure cannon. <laughs> Looks like pitting Sectol against Giver 3 was the right decision. Bring up the display of the two Zoonoids that were sent to their hideout. Sir. Something bothers me. I didn't question your decision when you suggested we send Gaston and Durza to deal with our targets in the woods. But if our aim is to capture them, I fail to see why normal Zoonoids would not have sufficed. Why did you insist on sending Hyper Zoonoids? I doubt they'll put up much of a fight. No, you're probably right. But for some reason, I have a bad feeling about Mr. Murakami. Damn it! They just had to wait until the Givers were gone. How did they even find out about this place? They must have known about it all along and were waiting to make their move. It looks like we underestimated them. We're in pretty bad shape. But I'm more worried about Sho and Makishima. They'll make it back safely. I'm sure. Wait a second, Murakami. I'm confused. How did you know we were being attacked by Zoonoids? Here they come. Die! <laughs> what? Sho, huh? do you think you could let me down for a sec? I think I need to take a little break. It seemed like only yesterday when I was carrying you around on my back. Now all of a sudden, I'm the one getting a ride. It may sound kind of pathetic, but in a way, I'm glad. Dad. Listen, I... I'm sorry I never told you. I just... It... No, it's all right, son. I understand. You didn't say anything because you were worried about me, right? Dad... I know it must have been tough. But I'm really proud of you, you know. I was too busy to notice, but all of a sudden you've really grown up. You're a strong boy, Sho. And I'm sure you'll grow into a strong man, too. Hey, come on. It's a compliment. You don't have to cry. Stand up, Sho. You have an important job to do, right? Your friends are counting on you. <laughs> it's all right. I guess you're still a kid after all. You're still my boy. You're right, Dad. My friends are counting on me. We'd better hurry. Awaken. Ah. Awaken, my.
might of it. Attack Enzyme 2, I command you! Stay back. I'll handle this one on my own. <laughs> Surprised? I am leader of the five, the strongest of the hypersoanoids. You think you can defeat Zectol? <laughs> You may be able to take out normal Zoonoids with that little pea shooter, but you're a fool if you think that will work against me. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Did he go over? I don't know. Shit, I don't believe we lost him. Thankless! Damn it! Hiding in the ground, huh? That sneaky bastard's using my own tricks against me! That's one down. Maybe I should leave it at that and pull back. Where did that come from? What's going on? Dad! Do as I command you, Enzyme 2! Tear the Kyber to pieces! No! He turned him into a Zoonoid! That's rather devious. <laughs> Even for you. He'd sooner die than kill his own father. We'll see. This should be quite the massacre. <laughs> now, fight to the death. Don't hold back. What's going on? Why did those two stop attacking Murakami all of a sudden? <laughs> Open your eyes, you imbeciles! What are you doing? Must be Barkus. Who is that man? It appears he's using a form of solenoid mind control similar to mine. That's one hell of a trick you just pulled there. You're going to pay for making fools of us! He stopped him? That's impossible! Who the hell are you? This is it. I've got no choice. Carry your more! Oh, now I understand. He's not one of the Twelve Zoolords, yet he possesses the same powers we do. There's something you're not telling me, Doctor. This power, it's overwhelming. No, it can't be. Is he a Zoolord? Derzer! Gaster! This opponent is far too powerful for you. Withdraw now while you still can! Murakami! Murakami! Are you all right? Yeah, I just need to rest for a sec. Sorry, but could you get me some clothes? We'll have to take the car. What do you mean? I'll explain later, all right? Just hurry, show's in danger. <laughs> No, I can't do it. I can't use any of my weapons. If I do, then... then I'll end up killing Dad. Come on, Dad, snap out of it! I found out while I was tracing the Zoonoid's thoughts. Come on, there's no way. Mr. Fukumachi a Zoonoid? 
It's true. He's become a special type that uses secretions to dissolve Giver armor. Not another enzyme. Show, please be all right. Excellent work! Now's your chance! Finish him off! Smash his skull to pieces! Show! No, he can't be. Yes. <laughs> well done, Enzyme 2. Or perhaps I should say Fumio Fukabachi. Now, rip the control metal from his skull. What do you think you're doing? I said, tear out his control metal! But how? How can he still move? His head's been ripped open! Kaiba One's host is dead! Now I understand. If the bio-boosted host loses consciousness for an extended period, the armor itself will go into an emergency self-defense mode in order to preserve itself. We should have known better. If you consider the nature of the bio-boosting system, this sort of feature is obvious. Even with Enzyme's power, it appears we've dug our own grave. <laughs> at least we'll get a good look at what a wild, unrestrained Giver unit is capable of. This way! Show! Is, is that thing is dead? <laughs> Mr. Fukumachi, come back to your senses. You're outmatched. Too powerful. Hey, are you all right? It's no use. My power isn't enough to save him. Shows Dad's under the control of Barkus's thought waves. Besides, look. Uh, that's sick. What happened? Part of Show's head was ripped off. Watch. The head's actually reconstructing itself bit by bit. The problem is, until Sho recovers, the Giver isn't capable of human thought. It's running on instinct. Wait, so you mean the Giver's controlling itself right now? Without Sho? That's what it amounts to. And the Giver draws no distinction between friend and foe. It will destroy anything that stands in its path. It looks like the Giver's finished reconstructing Sho's brain. So that means he should be regaining consciousness any minute now. But... Then what? How are we going to explain this to him? How can we tell him that he... killed his own father?
His heart racked with grief, Sho is left powerless before his adversaries. As a swarm of Enzyme 2s tear at the wounded heroes like vultures, the Giver 3 suffers a deadly blow. With one Giver unable to appear and another badly injured, Murakami is forced to unleash his true power. The tears of heaven fall on blood-stained earth as a troubled man's past comes into light. Next time, escape in the rain.